Hello friends, author Kim Patton here talking about another book. We have Shift from Abby McDonald. Abby McDonald lives in Maryland and she writes online for several magazines and different websites like Encourage and Crosswalk. So this is a Christian nonfiction for women and I really liked it because the subtitle is Changing Our Focus to See the Presence of God. And she really does that. She talks about the reality of life and circumstances, but she talks about just small shifts that we can make mentally to really cling on to perseverance is what a big theme that I felt through the book. She just persevered through some challenging times of waiting and not really knowing what to do. I felt like she was in limbo. You know, when you're in, you're in an in-between season you're not like completely moved into a new state or you have a house that's pending sale in another state kind of thing or you're living in someone else's house. That's kind of the examples that she lived with her family. Um, her and her husband had to live in their parents' basement, I think, for a little while. And then they also had a house in another state for sale. I cannot even imagine the stress that that would be if you had to pay two mortgages or even have renters in one place because you're trying to sell it but you can't really sell it so you rent it out and then you have to deal with repairs oh that sounds so stressful and I felt her angst when I was reading about those stories and I thought yeah how do you have a good attitude during those times how do you pray during those times when you have a house for sale that nobody will buy. I can see how it would be upset, like an obsessive idea to get that done and get it out of your mind. I love when things are complete. And if there's something hanging in the balance, those are the times that I've had the hardest time trusting God and saying, it's okay. I rely on your presence. I have the faith that you know what's best and that it's not in my timetable, it's in your timetable. That's, those are hard lessons to learn. So I felt like she did a good job of showing me what it means to have a proper perspective when you're in the tough situations. She's also really gentle and kind and compassionate. And those are the kind of people I need in my life because I'm really out there, upfront, not always blunt, but just more of like a big liver. <laughs> I live life very loud. She's one of the quiet, gentle souls that we need. And I so appreciated her voice. Um, so I definitely recommend this book. Um, it just came out in early February. And her agent is the agent that I'm praying about giving um, my book proposal to in the coming months, year, probably years, maybe. So it was really cool to get to know her as an author and see her reach out to the, you know, acknowledge her agency in the acknowledgments because I just feel like the publishing industry is so full of amazing people and she made me want to, it just gave me more confidence and more um, encouragement through her writing to, you know, reach for the stars and go after what you feel God is calling you to do. And she was a writer for a long time without really, you know, getting much credit or she had a lot of doubts. So just from a writer perspective, seeing another Christian woman who was a young mom raising her kids and also choosing to write, I see how she has persevered through those times and become a better person because of it. Not only a better writer, but a, a better person. So that was really encouraging too. Okay, Last Chance Shift by Abby McDonald. Happy reading, friends.